Hi everybody, welcome to Let's Play Death Rally. So, I've just had a quick run through this game, it's not very long. Uh, I've not given up on the Neverwinter Nights or Fable LP. Um, I'm just not really in the mood. And my voice is still a bit rough, so apologies for that. But let's get going. So I quite like the colour chooser in this game. Um, seems still a lot of modern games struggle to do this, I don't know why they do. But you're often restricted, and not in this game, which is nice. So, you also choose a profile, which isn't that important, except that it replaces one of the other characters in the game. So I'm going to replace Duke Nukem on the basis he has the most armour, so he's the hardest to kill, so the hardest to prevent getting points if you ever need to fight him at the top of the table, um, which we might well do. And in order to speed up the LP, I think this is the best plan. Oh yeah, I did have a quick run through on hard. Too hard. I mean, it's it's not too hard, it's just it'll take too long uh, for what it's worth. So let's just play on normal. Welcome to Death Rally. The race is on in Death Rally, where life is short and hot, fast and deadly. Watch the road, hear the rumble. Start out easy, get the feel of it. But remember, buy the rules or fry the rules, play to win. Enough said. Now ride your machine, your motor war chariot. So as you probably guessed, you start off in the worst car in the game, and it is indeed very poor. We're going to be much slower, much weaker, we can't do as much damage, and we won't handle as well. So don't be surprised if I come forth, especially as someone's got mines. That is very inconvenient for me. Yeah, that was a bad plan. However, I'm not... If I get too close, I'll just get mined anyway. I hope Mick Dare gets behind her, and that way she can mine him, not me. That's my own fault, really, wasn't it? That wasn't my own fault, I had no choice in that. No, that was my own fault. I wonder if she's run out of mines. Well, actually, that went better than I was anticipating. This is the Windows port, and it seems to skip that first easy scoreboard, even if you don't press the button. Welcome to the shop. Zillions more miles to go. That junk of yours is no juggernaut. She won't take you all the way. You need to gear up, to upgrade, make headlong headway, strive to stride, strive to strive, evolve. Improve. Better. Best. Buy and be one shining perfection. So this Vagabond is not a shining perfection. And he's quite correct, it will not take me all the way. Um, how much do I need? Yeah, so we might as well upgrade this on the way. Oops. Yeah, you driver. Jealousy burns you like a dragon inside. You want that road all to yourself? So jinx those rival suckers, let them go out in a blaze, you take the glory. Welcome to the underground market. What you want, we got. Dig out the dough, it's gonna cost you. So you can buy the extra weapons like the computers had the mines in the last round. Mines are good, really frustrating when the computers have them, and okay when you have them. Spike bumpers, meh, not really worthwhile. They look cool, but don't do much. Rocket fuel has its uses, it makes you faster, but it also gives you damage as you use it. And sabotage is excellent, I almost always take sabotage. But probably not today, because we just don't have the weaponry to kill them even if they are damaged. Get ready to go! Ah! 
I don't know how it's going to come out after I process the video and goes up on YouTube, but the audio in this game, especially the voice bits, are very muddy. So it's not a bad recording as such, it's just old, muddy game. Quite dark sounding. I guess it's part of the atmosphere, isn't it? Has to be careful with these tunnels, because although you can see the walls and they're not that wide, once you're inside, it's like a TARDIS, but the opposite. And you don't have to move very much to smash against the walls in those tunnels for some reason. Just the way the collision detection works. my fault then. Oh, you swat. By the left, go for it. I don't know if that tire squeal has glitched or if there's just a lot of tire squealing. Sounds like it's glitched. That's funny, you didn't do that before when I was running through on my own. Well, at least it stops. Um, yeah, it didn't surprise me. I'm glad. I'm glad it said that, because if I could have afforded it, I'd have looked really silly. This isn't going well. If I'd have bought a sabotage, of course, Morisato would be dead by now. Final lap, go for it! Uh, that's all my fault. Got too close. I should have just let him drive off. Oh, that's a bit of a shitter. Great over. Too slow, no dough. Death rally is for winners. You totally lost this race. All the bonus dollars you collected on the way are null and void. You get nothing. Get it? Zero. None. Nought. Nix. Nada. Zilch. Next time, be better. We didn't really need that abuse from our sponsor. Oh, this looks a nice easy race. Get ready to go! There's big money on that, that corner, so that gives you ten times the amount of money the small uh, dollar signs do. So I don't know how much the dollar signs are related to the car and how much the difficulty, um, because at least on medium they seem to change sometimes. If you 
finished the race with, I think it's less than 3% damage, but certainly very little. Um, one of your sponsors gives you some extra money, so if we can achieve that, we will. So we got $1,300 from that race, that should be more than enough to get the next uh, car up. Inconceivable driver, it was a snowball's chance in hell through that blitzkrieg battle and not a shadow of a scratch on your paint job. My bet was on you and it paid me back big time. Here, your share, $350, go knock yourself out. So every other car upgrading and having no armor is a really bad plan worse than sticking with what you've got but because the uh, mini is so terrible um, with the lorry I almost always if not always just upgrade when I get the chance okay well that was a pretty bad start Thankfully the computers don't just spam mines, you, they can, you can, but they don't. I think you get 8, it's either 8 or 10, something like that. see now that I have some offence that um, doing some extra damage to someone before the race is actually pretty damn useful. I could probably take them out now. If you raced all three of the other drivers you get a bonus at the end of the race as well. So now we've got the uh, Dervish, our sponsor money will go up. So getting those sponsors is probably going to be more useful and uh, easy race. Once we've upgraded this, uh, we can get going on medium in the truck and it'll be alright. Might have enough to kill him, but because he's got mines, I don't really want to risk it, because if I do get behind him, he could probably stop me from winning the race. Now I've got three lots, so I'll give it a go. Well, that was a very bad idea. Oh, that's lucky. I'm a grateful reaper driver. More car corpses for my domain. You are my sweetest minion. Your dead serious ed has earned you a parking space amongst my horsemen. A bonus of a thousand dollars to you, horse-powered serial auto-killer. So we've got quite a long, you know, jumps up quite a lot since we started the game now. Yeah, we can kill Farmer Ted, that'll be easy. Um, so we've jumped up quite a lot. Oh, I should have read that aloud, shouldn't I? Um, we've improved our position quite a bit. Just in case you missed it, the sponsor's offer for killing Farmer Ted was more than the race is worth. So 
so there's a little bit of frame tearing and it almost makes it look like the game is juddering. I think in some places it does, but that's what the original did as well. Um, I'll probably, I'm recording at 60 frames, but I'll probably cut it down to 30 or 25, just because you're not really missing anything. Probably won't kill him, but I'll have a go. I don't know if he deliberately bailed out, but it was a good idea of him to do that. Hey, not too shabby, driver. Your wild winning streak has earned you an extra a thousand bucks, but don't get cocky. Those other wannabe victory hounds are going to blaze zero right into your blazing headlights. Sorry, I can't read. And they want to get you bad. I'll read that again next time it comes up. You totally slew that car. A killer race. The bullets took to the sky like clouds of locusts, and the screams of motors were a banshee wail. Death! You were beautiful. Farmer Ted is in a car coffin grave. A thousand dollars, your money. So I should probably have bought some tyres there. Um, but one more. Ah, oh, I should have gone for medium. One more round on easy, and then we'll go for medium. Get ready to go. Depending on who else goes for medium. So as you can see at the beginning of the race, everyone shoot. There's a sort of group of names that appear in each difficulty. So because I played this game so many times back in the distant past, I know who I can fight and who I can't. Some of them move around, depending, as we said at the beginning, you pick a face and that replaces one of the other characters. So some of them do drift around uh, between two cars. But you know who's who, well I know who's who. There's actually a story to this game as well, in a text document in the installation folder. I don't know if it's still there in the Windows version. I'll have a look later. If it is, I'll read it out and dub it in. So I'll probably wait before I upgrade to the Sentinel to get um, enough money to buy outright. That way when I get the trade-in value of my uh, truck that I've got, I'll be able to upgrade the armour on it. Just trying to think when to cut this video. Let's keep going until we get the Sentinel and then we'll cut the video. Um, yeah, let's go for some sabotage. Do you have bad luck always riding shotgun? Time for some of that golden racer boy to get some, right? So let's just see who turns up on medium. So Mori Sato is the uh, sentinel, one up from us. Iron John is the sentinel, one up. 
We could beat him though. Mind you, I don't have any choice now. Hold on to your reins. Oops, sorry, I skipped that by pressing push to talk. Money talks and the damage is done. 41% worth, he says in character. Sabotage says that Susie's stock is going down and staying down. That's Dobait look for you. And look, she ain't no lady. Bad as taking a whole battery of ammo from I'm John. Probably just about afford it, can I? How much do I get back? 1200. Uh, yeah, let's do it. That is one hell of a piece of machinery. Stri straight from the best R&D labs, Shielding Steel Triumph gives you that extra edge you crave. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode for more Death Rally.